Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing some Pixelmon on mc.pixelmon.net. Make sure to check out the IP in the description if you want to check it out or if you like what you see. And basically, the reason for this video is that the Pixelmon dev team have released a brand new update with so much, guys. They've added so many things to the game. There's over 50 new Pokemon or new models and... Um, new animations added to the Pokemon. Basically, a ton of stuff has been changed. I'm going to showcase a, a little bit of it in this video now. But if you want to see all the latest updates and stuff, make sure to check out the website. I'll put that in the description as well. And also make sure to join the server. Fly around or walk around, catching all the new Pokemon. Give it a shot. It's absolutely amazing. I'm going to start off with what I think is the best thing that they've added to the game so far. And that is... Pixelmon Spawner, or a Pokemon Spawner. Now these are absolutely amazing for servers like mine, and the reason for that is, is that I can control spawns now. So what we're going to be doing, is we're going to be putting a lot of low level Pokemon around where you first start off, like level 5 Mankeys, Spearows, Weedles, all that good stuff. Oh, little lag spike there. And basically what that'll do is make it a lot more progressive, like the real game because previously random levels spawned throughout the whole map and you couldn't really tell the Pokemon only to spawn in certain areas or you couldn't say only level fives and below around spawn but now you can with the Pixelmon spawner and basically all you have to do is chuck it down I've got some below these see that oh I shouldn't have destroyed that I've got them marking where they all are so I don't lose them in the future but anyway so you just put it down you right click it Make sure you're OP. You type in the Pokemon's name. Just say, like, Weedle. You say the rarity. The higher the number, the the more spawn is what I have noticed. I don't know if that's a bug or that's what it's meant to be, whatever. So I just usually click one, then click add. It gets added to the list. And then the spawn tick. You want it to fire on tick if you just want it to run automatically. If you want to hook redstone up to it, you can do that as well. If you want it to spawn a Pokemon when someone steps on a pressure plate or something... Easy to do with this button right here. But otherwise, use fire on tick. And leave it at 40, spawn radius. 8's a really nice one. Because it's a, it's kind of in your, your, your distance of how far you would expect the Pokemon to spawn around it. You can bump it up to 16 if you've got a big field or something to cover though. Which I've done in my other ones. And max spawns is how many you want to spawn. Um, that must have a time limit probably per the tick or something. And there's the minimal level or min level and the max level that you want the Pokemon that come out of it to spawn and then your boss ratio so one one out of a hundred will be a boss so pretty default stuff there and that's what I'm going to be doing and what I have already started doing as you can tell by the amazingly low spawns right down here on the route to Pellet Town sorry I'm lagging a bit here the Pixelmon mod and there's a lot of things going on at the moment my computer's pooping itself but anyway so here we go here's Pellet Town and I've got a bunch of mill tanks spawning there, just because they're really nice for getting some good XP. And they they just they're a bit tanky, and they're good little training training tanks. So you just knock them down. But anyway, so there we got them. And then of course we got Route One, where I've got some higher level things spawning up to level 15. And I've even got a rare spawn for a Pikachu here. I didn't want too many spawning, but I made it rarer, so only one should spawn out of every 30 spawns. But there's one there, as you saw. And up here, there's some other rare things. I put, like, Volpixes, and these just spawn naturally, randomly. Still, this didn't come out of the spawner, because obviously I've got max level 15. So this did. The Ekans came out of that spawner right over there. And it's it's basically amazing, guys. Now, for the next thing, um, I've got three Poker Loot chests here. And basically what you do, if you're the first one to watch this video, definitely jump on the server, because you'll get all the loot first. What I do is I put them down, and now you can click on them, like this, right click, and it goes, or it goes invisible for me. Did you see that? It goes invisible for me, but if I wasn't OP, then it would give them loot, and I'm right clicking them to make them hidden. But let's go put it down where someone else can grab them. Let's see if this guy wants to grab them. I'll put it down. Come on. Grab the Pokeball. Let's make that one hidden as well. So someone can walk past, and if they see the little box, all the little particles coming out of it, they can click it and get some free loot from it. It's basically like a hidden chest. Absolutely amazing. We're probably going to auto spawn these in. Oh, look, there's a boss up there. Wonderful. Oh, that guy's going for it. Riding in on his Matang. 
Nope, he's gone past it. No, nope, he's gone for it. He's gone for it. All right, sorry about that little cut there. We're back and we're going to test out these pokey spawners. Let's jump down here. Hopefully one of these guys goes and clicks it. We don't want to chuck too many down because you can actually get some fairly good loot from it. But I'm sure if I chuck it in this guy's path, let's fly ahead of him. Oh, they probably might have seen the one up there by now. Let's chuck one down here and I'm sure someone will open it. Come on. Come and open the pokey loot. There we go. Thank you for clicking on that, bro. And that's exactly how it works. So if you find these hidden around the map, I make them invisible. You run up, click them, you get some sweet loot. You can get items, you can get rare candies, you can get all the good stuff from them. That guy's wondering what's going on now. He doesn't... I don't know. Is he going to click it? Ultra, ultra chests actually have even better loot. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one in a bit of a... A different place so these guys don't get it because I've already got enough. They got all the test ones. Let's jam one right on there. Hidden. Oh, hopefully he didn't see that. He could see the particles. He missed it. He missed it. Haha, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> we'll put some up here because I know people can get up here. That'll be the next ultra one. He's, he's, he's trying to follow me. I don't know if he knows I'm putting down ultra loots. Yeah, he looks like he's going on top of the gym. He must have saw me put it down. But we'll put another one in here. Make sure, guys, log on and get these quick. You'll get the best loot on the server if you find all of these first. So, do you know all those people who comment on the video saying first, second, third? There's probably actually a reason for being first, second, third now. Because you'll be the first, second, and third people to get all this loot that I'm hiding around the map. Which will be absolutely amazing. Look at that. A wild cypher spawning. That is absolutely beast. Is that wild? What? They've made the Pokemon so amazing. I don't even know what generation that one's from, but they're just so good now. Look at that, Venomoth. Ledian. This is crazy. This biome's beast mode in it, guys. There's all these good Pokemon around now. The server literally became ten times better just with this new update, adding in all these new things. Because it changes the gameplay so much when there's, like, triple the amount of Pokemon and they're actually spawning. Before the Pokemon didn't actually spawn, some of them were just totally irrelevant and gone. Now they actually all spawn. But anyway, here we go. Let's chuck out the Master one somewhere. I'll put this somewhere really good because I'm pretty sure you get a Master Ball out of it no matter what. So, a Master Ball are pretty rare. So I'm going to hide it in a fairly good place. We've got a bunch of Easter eggs up in the mountains, so I won't go too far up. Because it might ruin it for any of you explorers, but here we go. This looks like a good spot. Right in here. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's the Master Ball. Let's make it invisible. Even harder to find. Now, no one will ever find that, pretty much, except if you watch my video. So that'll be that'll be a little present for someone, whoever gets that. All right. So I think I talked about most of the stuff. All the bug fixes and changes in 3.0.1, which is just the updated version of 3.0 that they released a few days ago, which is also installed on the server, so make sure you download the latest. And if the server updates again from this video being uploaded, make sure to just go to pixelmon.net and there'll be a video tutorial and a guide for installing the latest Pixelmon to be able to join the server. So make sure to check out that website. It's got the IP up the top, and it's got all the information you'll need. If you're having any troubles, make sure to ask for some help on the forums, and people will be glad to help you. And yeah, so make sure to do that, guys. And I'll quickly cover the rest of this and wrap this video up. So we've got some new blocks in here that they've added to the game. Of course, the Pixelmon spawner. Um, I think they added Max Revive and Revive. They also added... Oh, I'm not sure if these badges are here. I'm pretty sure they were. Pokeballs. I think they fixed a couple of the Pokeballs to actually work. And they added this Grotto Spawner item fa um, finder. And I'll show you how this works. It's a bit of an annoying thing to delete without world edit. But I'll jam one over here in the tree somewhere. And basically, it's just that it's got like a poker loot automatically put in it. It's probably from one of the games, but I only played the early one, so I don't actually know, guys. But here we go. This looks like a good spot. You just hold it, right click, bam. It spawns this little area. It's got the master ball in there. And it also spawns the dirt around it, apparently. But, oh no, that was just into the mountains. So there we go. We'll hit this, we'll hit this down like this a bit. Just trim it. That guy's going in for the loot already. What are the chances? This guy's beast mode is up today. I don't know if he was following me or if he was just exploring the area, but 
Shout out to him anyway. Shout out to anyone who plays on my server. It's all greatly appreciated because it all helps me. If you play the server, then it gets more advertising. More people find out about me and the servers. Everything's always a great help, guys. Um, jam that like that. That should be fine. This looks a tiny bit odd. But... Let's just fill this in with dirt. This map's so amazing and I just don't want to grief it with my bad building skills, guys. Because <laughs> the builders on this map, they rebuilt the whole Kanto region pretty much to scale, which is absolutely just out of this world. Like, it's the only server with the Kanto region built this good. And, to be honest, it's by far the best server anyway, just because of the features. Have a look at this Pixelmon server if you haven't already seen it, guys. You can fly around. I could fly for like 20 minutes and I wouldn't even explore everything on the map. There's literally so much at it. There's the whole Kanto region, plus all the middle areas filled in with secrets and hidden easter eggs and stuff like that. It's great for exploring. Absolutely amazing. Um, there was one more thing that I wanted to show you guys. Check out the new legendaries. BAM! BAM! Look at these beasts. Now, I thought that was big when I first spawned him in. He's usually a lot bigger, but have a look at that Grodon. He's absolutely amazing. Beast moding it up. That is a beautiful model, whoever designed that. Now, he's hopping around like a bit of a spastic, so... Let's just throw him back down here. Oh, is that a wild Munchlax? What's oh, a Snorlax? Whatever. That's even better. It's already evolved. Look at that. Level 48. Brand new model. Looking really nice as well. All these new spawns. What is that? What? I don't even know what that is. That's the ugliest mofo I've ever seen. That must be one of the newer um, generations of Pokemon. I didn't play the new ones, as I said, guys. But that's weird. Is that it? So, Anvil here. I don't think that's supposed to be it. Let's just get rid of that. What's this down here? There's a Munchlax. Hey there, buddy. That's more into scale than his buddy over there, Snorlax. I thought he would have been a bit bigger, but... <laughs> Cool. Um, don't eat him, buddy. Do not eat the Munchlax, and the Munchlax don't eat him. I've heard stories about you. <laughs> Alright, guys. Anyway, that's pretty much it. As you can see, my frame rates are going crazy while recording here. Frozen again. But shout out to everyone on the server. All the links and everything will be in the description. I'll also do a link to all the changes that I've made to Pixelmon, so you can read through and see for yourself if I missed anything. And yeah, thanks for watching guys, chuck the video a like and I'll see you later.